Hey, what's going on guys? What's Homer Melon here? And today I'm gonna to be bringing you an opening of two booster boxes worth of Shadow Infinity. So 80 packs of this OCG stuff. Yeah, I've been wanting to open up this set again. This is actually the first OCG set that I ever opened. And uh, it's the first, or I guess it's the last one for me to do mass openings of. So I'm super excited. Uh, let's just get into it, and I'll talk about some of the cards that I want from this set. Basically, the cover card, Raviel, is the number one pull for me, because I just want to collect all the cover cards in Ultimate Rare. But, oh, do we have a hit right off the bat? Do we have a hit right off the bat? Oh, Uriah, right off the bat. Right off the dome, we've got a Uriah. This is another huge hit, so all of the Sacred Beasts are obviously... Complete bangers. Oh, I, I won't bother sleeving that up yet. I'll only sleeve up the ultimates. So all of the Sacred Beasts are huge. If I can get any of those, that'd be incredible. Or get any of them in ultimate, that is. Dez Frog. Or, I forget what that one's called. Big one. But I want all of the... All of the ultimates... of the Sacred Beast, I don't know why I can't speak. So I want all the those ultimates, and there's also Treeborn Frog, Demise King of Armageddon, Ruined Queen of Oblivion, all those are good ultimates. Uh, and then there are a couple like decent ones. Oh, I forgot to mention, Cyber Barrier Dragon, Cyber Laser Dragon. Like this actually might be one of the best sets. Cyber Barrier Dragon, Speak of the Devil. It's a cool super. Yeah, so any of those would be awesome. Obviously, like from, I have nine booster boxes of this. What I want to pull, I want to pull each of the Sacred Beasts and Ultimate, obviously. And then I also, I actually want doubles on Raviel. So I can have one as a cover card, and then in my cover card section of my collection, and then one in just a collection of all three of them. So it'd be nice to have two of Raviel. If I don't get any of the Sacred Beasts out of nine boxes in Ultimate Rare, I would, that'd be a tragedy. There are some really bad ultimates in this set. Goblin out of the frying pan, Memory Crusher, which I actually pulled in my last Shadow of Infinity opening. All right, this is one of the best sets in GX. I never really thought about how good some of the pulls are, but you know, there's a lot there. Oh, this is the ultra rare I didn't want. I mean, it's still an incredible ultimate, Cyber Laser Dragon, so that's, I mean, that's definitely a hit. That's better than any of the, uh, what am I doing? Let me just, I'll just put it in a sleeve for right now. And then, oh, this is a tight fit sleeve. Okay. But put it in a sleeve for right now and I'll double sleeve it later. Put that right there. So there are, I think four ultimates in, or four ultras in this set, three sacred beasts and then a cyber laser. So. I would have preferred any of the Sacred Beasts over that, but that's definitely a card I wanted to pull, so can't complain. Karma Cut. That actually, you know, definitely not one that I want in Ultimate, but I wouldn't complain too much if I got it. Finally finished up all of my finals. A little bit of alliteration there, but... And my last final this morning I was in a research meeting for a couple of hours, but we're all good on that front. Frees up a lot of time, a lot of time until I have to go back after early January. And allows me some time to really do more Yu-Gi-Oh stuff. Um, also just upload more frequently. If you guys probably didn't notice, but you might've, I used to upload every three days been uploading like once every four or once every five more recently because you know with finals and stuff it was just not possible for me to get out and especially research as well it was not possible for me oh my god this is actually like one of the worst ultimates that's not even getting sleeved that's a that's a disappointment right there man oh that's a shame not the ultimate that I wanted. Memory Crusher, that's another ultimate I don't want. I get it. Um, yeah, that's, that's a really unfortunate one. 
I just want the Sacred Beast and Ultimate Rare. That's all I want. All I want. I mean, I'm kind of pumped about the Cyber Laser. That's definitely not like a, a bad one. It's definitely up there, but it's also uh, not exactly what I want. Hopefully we can get something else. Lost Millennium treated us very, very well, though we never, I guess I haven't uploaded all the Lost Millennium videos, so I won't spoil it. There's one of the big cards that we didn't get. We got like triples of some of the other ones, so. I mean, overall, our pulls were incredible for Lost Millennium. I actually have a Lost Millennium box right in front of my face, so. That was a great set. I think like Lost Millennium, I wanna say I think that's the best set in GX. I think, I think I would go out and say that. Let me know what you guys have as your favorite set in the GX era. I think Lost Millennium might be the best. I'm trying to think of other ones that might compete with it. So you got Lost Millennium, Elemental Energy, Cybernetic Revolution. Those are the three that come to mind for me as competition for uh, Lost Millennium. And then Shadow of Infinity is also good. Phantom Darkness and Light of Destruction. So those are like, I don't know. GX had a lot of bangers. The ones that I think are really bad, those are probably the easiest to identify. Power of the Duelist I think is bad. I think Strike of Neos is bad. Uh, I'm trying to think what else. BES card right here. Uh, <coughs> what else is bad? I'm not a huge fan of the Gladiator's Assault, to be honest. I think the secrets are cool, but other than that, not a huge fan of Gladiator's Assault. Cloudians are also cool, but yeah, so Power of the Duelists, Strike of Neos, Enemy of Justice, another bad set. What else is there? Hopefully I'm not offending anyone. Tactical Evolution, like that set kind of sucks, except for the higher end stuff, which the higher end stuff is pretty awesome. Malfunction. That is a card that, I, that might be worse than the, the weird trap card I can't remember that I got. Oh, we've got a, oh, Ruin Queen of Oblivion. Very cool. Very cool. I have a feeling I'm gonna pull her in ultimates. Give me a Raviel. Anteater Eating Ant. That's actually not the worst card they ever released. You could like special summon it by destroying two spells and traps, and I think it also could destroy a spell or trap if you didn't attack with it. Not a bad card. Yeah. Really blanking on what else. Force of the Breaker, I would put more in the good, good column. Enemy of Justice, I think Enemy of Justice is probably the worst GX set. After that, not sure, but Strike and Neos and Enemy of Justice are definitely bad. I feel like I'm just repeating myself. And because I don't have a full list, I'm you know, trying to think off the top of my head. Cyclone Boomerang. I'm noticing that most of the rare cards are would be terrible ultimates. So we got a super rare, Ancient Gear Castle. Cool, all right. Not a card that I really care much for, but so be it. Ultimate rare, incoming. Oh, nope, it's not. Karma Cup, rare. As soon as I saw Trap, I was like, please be wrong. Hero Kid, what a classic. I don't even know. I think that card like special summons other Hero Kids, if I remember correctly. So we're still waiting on two ultimates. One ultimate was good, one was not good. So overall, average, I would say. We did get an Ultra Ultimate, which Shame that that wasn't, I hate, I hate to say the same thing over and over, but you know, I was, there's a 25% chance if I pull an ultra ultimate that it was gonna be one of those. Goblin out of the frying pan, another terrible 
ultimate rare. Terrible. Absolutely terrible. This set's rares are pretty bad. I'm not gonna lie. Besides Treeborn Frog, I really not a whole lot going on in this set. Ultimate rare incoming. Nope. I was wrong on that one. Another ancient gear. This one's going to be an ultimate rare. Was that the exact same pack? That might have been the exact same pack. Korean packs are really bad with that, where they often repeat. Cyber Laser, ugh, excuse me. Cyber Laser Dragon is our other ultra rare, so we got an ultimate and an ultra of that. Okay. Come on. Sacred Beast Ultimate Rare, that's all. Man, I'm getting so unlucky. Oh, Karma Cut. Oof. I'll sleeve that one up. That's not the worst, but ah, uh, that's not what I needed. Definitely not what I needed. I also have, you know, I'm trying to open up as many of these boxes. Well, I want to open them up sooner rather than later because I want to know ahead of time if I need to either buy more of these or if I need to buy the, the singles of the cards that I don't get. Like, let's say I don't get a Raviel. If a Raviel comes on auction or something like that where I think I can get a good deal, I want to know ahead of time so that I'm not missing out and that I'm also not just spending money on things that I don't need to spend money on, right? Proto Cyber Dragon. Forgot that card was in here. That's another one of those, like, you know, it's better than all the, the trap card rares. Cyclone Boomerang type ultimate rares. But, yeah. We're due for a lot of super rares. Malfunction. Whenever I see a trap card as the last card in the pack, I actually am like getting anxiety that I'm about to pull another ultimate trap card. Do, do, do. What's in there? Someone's knocking. Tap dancing or something. What's going on above me? All right. Getting us on to the last pile. And so many of that frog. This one's going to be it. This is the banger right here. Nope. Another frog. I think that was three in a row. Let's see how many of the, the frog we can get in a row. Oh, I see an ultimate, and it's a light. Cyber Barrier, maybe? I'm trying to think. Or it could be Haman. Cyber Barrier. All right. Not in the ultimate Sacred Beast. So that's a little... A little sad, but we got both of the Cyber Dragon ultimates. Or I guess they're still proto Cyber Dragon, but that's not bad. You know, I don't mind having those. I did want those in my collection, so happy to pull those, but you know, would be nice to get a Raviel. So we're done with all of our ultras and ultimates, which means I'm just gonna go straight. Oh, I forgot about this guy. This guy actually looked kind of cool in Ultimate. So we're just going to go to the last card in the pack. You guys have already seen all that. I forgot to do this. This makes things go so much quicker, especially when you've seen all the commons. Like, there's no point in just seeing the same commons over and over. Back to that Karan. Princess Karan. Sand Moth. I think that card's like expensive in DR04, but it's probably just a meme. DR04 is, I don't know why people are obsessed with that set. It's like, it's rare, but it's also a reprint set. So it's like, I don't know, man. The only one that I really understand is the uh, secret rare uh, DD Assailant. That's a really cool card. Other than that, you have, like, people are paying $300 for an Exarian Universe DR04. 
when that card is for its secret rare, when that card is actually just a tin promo secret rare that you can get for like five bucks. It just, I don't understand paying for essentially the same card. One's a tin promo and actually it's first printing and then the other one is like a, a reprint. I don't get why the reprint in the same rarity is worth so much. Like I get DRO4 is hard to find, but I don't know. It's one of the ones that doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me, to be honest. All right, almost done here. Then we'll do a quick recap of all the cards we got. This thing, I forgot that existed. That'd be another garbage ultimate. This set is kind of feast or famine. Goblin out of the frying pan, another terrible ultimate. For a while, I think that was like the cheapest ultimate rare there is. Memory Crusher, another bad ultimate. Pulled that in ultimate before. Alrighty. And Cyber Barrier Dragon to end it. All right, so let's go over what we got. Super rares, does anyone really care too much about the super rares? I don't think so. But pretty cool. Ultra rares, we did get one Sacred Beast. Uriah, so that's cool. And then ultimates, not really that great. I'd say this is a little below average. Cyber Laser Dragon, Cyber Barrier, definitely cool. Maybe this is average, and then Karma Cut and that thing. <laughs> Not even going to give that one a name. So thank you guys for watching, and peace out.